Sultan from Nepal and I am I am vice chair to National Indigenous Women Forum and I am one of the founding member and uh, advisor to National Indigenous Women Federation and I am an Indigenous Women Activist. And it is a great opportunity for us being an Indigenous Women participating in this 63 session of CSW. And the theme is also a very relevant one social protection, access to public services and uh, sustainable infrastructure for gender equality of uh, women and girls. So in each country, this theme is in their laws and the policy, but the big question arises us as an indigenous, being an indigenous woman, whether it is implemented effectively in our country or not. I hope this theme will help uh, to go forward in the future uh, for the, uh, to ensure the rights of indigenous women. And also all over the world we indigenous women are invisible in constitution, laws, policy, plans and activities in our own country also. So we want our visibility in this CSW session also. And also the uh, question we have uh, put forward and the question arises on the rights of indigenous people, land, territory and national resources and all those uh, traditional norms, skin, uh, skills and knowledge, the preservation of our customary practices and how we have been left behind. As the STG goal says, uh, to fulfill in 2030 gender equality but and its, uh, its uh, slogan also is no one is left behind. So in this CSW outcome document also as an indigenous woman and as an indigenous girl should not be left behind in the outcome document also and our issues and our concern and our problem relating with the land, territory and customary practices and customary institutions has to be addressed and also the seed of concluding observation given by the 23 seed of committee member in terms of Nepal uh, 1253 there are points but in uh, 1253 points 15 are addressed on indigenous women and, uh, and uh, 41A address uh, the CEDA committee shows concern to Nepal government. Their, their recommendation to Nepal government is to amend the constitution uh, to ensure the rights of indigenous women um, relating the rights with the right to self-determination and in line with UN RIP. So we urge everybody to pressure our government uh, to ensure the rights of indigenous women and indigenous peoples and indigenous girls in my country. So I humbly request all of you, thank you.